today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to screen print on some backpacks. Coming up. Welcome back everybody, let's dive right into this tutorial. So here are the backpacks that we are going to print and how we're going to print these is we're basically unzipping these things and going to load these up sideways. So I basically loaded up one of these backpacks onto the press, took my art, my film, lined it up, took my screen, set it up on press, make sure it's going to hit where I want it to. Let's go ahead and load up our screen and then we'll ink it up and I'll show you guys what ink we are using. The ink that I will be using to print these bags is One Stroke ELTX White and it's really great for doing items such as poly bags, nylon bags. It has a very low cure temp and we highly recommend them. We'll leave a link down in the description as to where you can find their information and let them know that Matt with Mikey Design sent you. And as you can see this ink is fairly creamy. Sometimes I do add a little bit of reducer to it, but it flows through the, the mesh really well and we have had nothing but great results with this ink. And for those of you that are curious about these bucket scoops, I'll leave a link down in the description where you can find those as well because they come in very handy. Ha! Okay, so we're going to take the open end of this pocket here. You would think that you could just print them like this, which you could if you have a hold down. However, because there's the two pieces of material, your bag will move and shift whenever you go to print them. So this is the easiest solution for us. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little test print just to make sure our print looks as it should. And I'm just using a test pellon. We'll leave a link down in the description where you can find these. Let me go ahead and hit that one more time. Okay. I'm going to make sure that we don't have any pinholes. Looks great. Move this out of the way. So what we're working with here is a fresh sheet of palette tape got some fresh adhesive down hopefully this little piece here doesn't affect anything let me try and get this up hell on stuck to it pretty good all right so we're going to load our backpack on we'll do one of them and we'll take a look before we do the entire run just to make sure everything is in place where it should be and with this particular backpack, it does look like it's ripstop nylon, so I'm trying to line up the actual nylon nice and straight. That way our print looks nice and straight. All right, that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're gonna flood our screen. And we're going to give this a couple hits and see how it comes out. That looks pretty good. I'm not even sure that we really need to even do a flash. However, I do see a little bit of a pinhole right there in the middle of this cross. So I'm gonna see what I can do to clear that out. But this looks pretty good. So I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna run it through the conveyor dryer. And be careful not to let this fold over on itself because there's no way of blowing this out with a blowout gun. So you have to be very careful. Okay, we have our dryer set to a fairly low temperature and this ink will set at about 265 degrees, which will not affect this bag, but we just need to make sure that we actually hit that mark and we're not going over that. And my dryer, the height of the heater, is actually set to about five or six inches, just to make sure we don't scorch any of this bag. So we're going to use our temp gun and make sure that we are reaching 265. Looks pretty good. It's about 264 as it comes out the end. It's nice and cured. 
didn't melt the bag any. So aside from clearing up that little pinhole there, we're good to go and we're gonna run off the rest of them. In order to clear out that little dot right there, I'm gonna take a little bit of screen opener and hit it from the top, hit it from the bottom a little bit. I'm gonna let that do its work for about a minute or so and then I'm gonna wipe it off. And I'm just gonna use a spare rag that's sitting around the shop. I'm gonna come up underneath it as well. Just wipe my entire image area. I'm gonna do another test print just to make sure everything's still cool and then we'll proceed. All right, looks like that cleared nicely. That little, whatever was blocking our screen is gone. So let's go ahead and proceed with the rest of these bags. Okay, so we're good to go to print the rest of these. I'm gonna do this in real time just to, to show you how quickly we can actually print these. Keep in mind when you are doing such a, a specialty bag as this, it is going to go a little slower than it would if you were doing t-shirts. So you should be charging a little more for such a print. Looks like we're nice and flat. You can hit this a couple times. And that looks awesome. So let's keep going. I'm gonna to toss this on the conveyor. I'm done. If you want to catch the bags at the other end, Panda, that'd be awesome. Huh? The bags that are coming out the conveyor dryer. Okay. Here we are with the next bag. Just hitting it a couple times and I'm just continually just checking just to make sure the print. It's looking nice, and it is. And again, I'm just trying to line this ripstop nylon up as straight as I can. Something you want to take into consideration is your squeegee angle and how much ink that you are depositing. And I'm using a fairly upright position, so about 45 degrees. That way we deposit as much ink as we can. As you can see my squeegee angle here. Give it a few passes. Still looking fantastic though. And as you start to do this, you'll get a little, a little faster. Get used to loading these things up. See if we can get it with one pass. Looks good to me. Dropped one. And the, the reason I'm able to, at this point, start to do it with one pass as the ink is starting to flow through the mesh really well and in order to retain. Well the camera died in the middle of doing the run. I was going to show you guys the whole run and kind of give you guys some advice but one of the things, there goes Panda back there, but one of the things I was kind of pointing out hopefully, I don't know if it caught it or not, but uh, these came in poly bags, so you definitely want to charge for unpacking them. Hey, it's FedEx! Because it does take more time to print backpacks, you want to charge a little more. We generally charge 50% more. It just takes more time. Let's show you guys the, the finished product. But before I do that, I don't think I mentioned it just yet. I am using a 156 mesh, so you want to use a little bit more open mesh if you are using white such as we are in this case. Well, let's go ahead and show you those bags. So here we are, here's the finished bags, all 23 of them. And they came out pretty nice. Nice and centered. 
everything looks level and I think our client will be very happy with them. Well, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you learned a little something. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.